Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about social media icons. Not only am I gonna be teaching you the basics and showing you where you can place them on your website, but I'm also gonna be showing you how you can add them to your team dynamic pages, like LinkedIn profiles, so that your users can connect with your team members on social media. So stay tuned to learn how you can do that. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to cover is how you can just add regular social media icons to your Wix website. The first thing you want to do is come over to the add panel. There's going to be a little tab right here for social and you're going to notice right here, there is these social bars already pre-designed for you. If you want to use one of these, just choose your favorite one and then drag it out onto your website. And for now, we'll go ahead and attach it to the header. Now, obviously this is quite large. We do not want these to be this big. So if we press this little layout icon right here, we can change the size of these icons to maybe like 20 pixels, something like that. I think that size is honestly perfect. And then you can also adjust the spacing if you would like as well. And then if you wanted to, you could even have a vertical menu bar or just a horizontal. The next thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and set up the social links. So we'll go ahead and press this set social links right here. And it's gonna open up a little window for us to do that. The first thing that I would recommend you do is just go ahead and delete the ones that you don't plan on using. Let's say we, your business doesn't have a Twitter, a YouTube channel, or even a TikTok. You just want to display Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Maybe you don't even like the way that these are styled, or maybe these aren't the right color for you. So what you can do is just go ahead and remove this image. We can go over to add icons, and it's gonna open up Wix's icons for social media. And we just deleted Instagram. So if we just type in Instagram and press enter, it's gonna show us all the different styles for the Instagram logo. But for this example, I do think I like the original one. So I'm just gonna choose black and press add to gallery. Now in here, not only can we change the order, but we can also set up the links. So with Instagram selected, what we want to do is come over to what social page does this icon link to? We can go ahead and click that and we can paste in the link for our Instagram page. And once you have that set, you can press done and it will apply it to that icon. And you'll have to do that for each one of your social media pages. But once you are done, go ahead and press done. And now your social media bar will be complete. But now it's time to find a place to actually put it. Here in the middle might look a little weird. So what I would probably do is maybe bump the menu over just a little bit. Then we'll just grab the social media bar and put it right here. And that's if you want it to be in the header. If you don't want it in the header, what we can do is go ahead and put it in the footer. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag this all the way down the page. If you wanted to, you could put it in this part of the footer. Just make sure you use white icons to match the rest of the site. Or you can put it in this little bottom banner right here as well if you have one which is what I would do in this case, and do something like that. I think that looks really clean as well. But let's say you don't want it in the header or the footer and you kind of want it to follow you down the website all the way. What we can do is create something that looks like this little let's chat bar right down here, but maybe we'll put it on the side. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and press add to site. We're gonna add a box and we're just gonna add this one right here. Now it doesn't need to be that big, but we definitely want the height to be larger than the width. So something similar to that. And if we go into the design, customize design and go to corners, what we can do is kind of give it the same rounded edge that this let's chat bar has. So we're going to unlink the radius and let's just add 12 pixels to the left and the right. And maybe that's a little too sharp. Maybe we'll do something like eight. Okay, something like that. And of course we can bring it down in size quite a bit. Then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go ahead and go add social and we'll just drag out this gray one for now. Now realistically, you'll probably wanna make it the white icons, but for simplicity for this tutorial, we are just going to leave it like this for now. And we're also gonna go into the layout and we're gonna set this to a vertical one, just like that. And we're also going to lower the size. 
And then we'll go ahead and put it in the box just like this. So it looks like that. And then with the box selected, we're gonna go ahead and right click and we're gonna say pin to screen. Now what I want to do is attach it to the left hand side. We want to remove the horizontal offset and maybe we can set the vertical offset to something like 108. So now if we keep scrolling down the website, we're gonna notice that it's following us all the way down, just like that. And let's say you don't really like the designs or the styling of the icons that Wix provides, or maybe let's say your company has already had some icons designed for your website. So instead of using Wix's internal icons, what you can do is come over to media. You can upload your own icons as I have right here. You just press upload and then find them on your computer. And then you can just add these to your website. As you can see, these can be quite large, but you can resize them to be whatever size that you would like. And you can also control the spacing for these icons as well. But once you have these icons on your page, what you can do is just click one You'll see a little icon right here for link. Then you can choose a web address and you can paste in the link to your social media pages. Then once you are done, you know, you can continue to resize them to what you think would look natural. And then you can also control the spacing a little bit more as well. And then just select all three of them and press group. Then you can put them anywhere on your website that you think would make the most sense. But now let's say we have a team member page and we want to display their LinkedIn profile on their page. So what we need to do is actually first set up the database for it. So what we want to do is go over to add. I'm gonna go to content manager and press add to site. Now for this tutorial, we're just gonna choose the template for team members and press add to site, just like that. And what this is gonna do is create two dynamic pages, one for the full team and then one for each of the team members themselves. And then it's gonna open up the database where we can actually edit the content. Now for the database, what we're gonna to want to do is go ahead and add a new field. Let's call this one LinkedIn. And we're gonna set the field type to our URL, just like that. And what I want to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a link real quick. And I'll only put it in a few of them for now. So now what I want to do is go ahead and close out of this database. We're gonna to go to the team name and you're gonna see that this team name is basically just a page with more information about this specific team member. Now, unfortunately, we can't go to add social, pull out a social bar because this does not connect to the database. So what we actually need to do is add our own social media icon. So we're gonna to go to media, upload, and you can find your own logo wherever you want. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just choose one from a, an icon set that I already own. And after it's done uploading, we'll go ahead and press add to site. And once it's added to the site, we'll go ahead and put it right under their title, just like that. And what we can do is go ahead and say connect to data. And we want the link to connect to the LinkedIn URL, just like that. And as you may remember, in our database, some of them had LinkedIn profile URLs and some of them didn't. So what we would want to do is make sure that this vector art or this little icon only appears when that user actually has a profile to link to. So what we're gonna do is come over to dev mode and what we're gonna do is use some code that I've used in a previous video. If you'd like to check that out, the link will be in the description below. But if you would like to just follow along and copy the code, the link to that code will be in the description as well. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open up dev mode. We're gonna turn this on. And basically that's gonna open up our coding panel right here. And what we want to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the code over from the blog post and I'm gonna paste it in inside the on ready function right here. Now, when I paste it in, you're gonna notice that several things turn red here in the code. And that is because the names of the elements 
from the blog post and the names on my website do not match. So what we need to do is for this data set, let's go ahead and select this one. You're gonna see it's called team data set. And I'm actually just gonna come over here to the bottom right, copy this, and anywhere it says my data set, I'm gonna change it to team data set. Okay, and you're also gonna notice that the image element has an underline as well. And in this case, the image element needs to be this vector image one, but I'm gonna rename this to LinkedIn, just like that. I'm gonna copy this and anywhere it says image element, I'm gonna change to LinkedIn. Now there is no more red. However, there is still one more thing we need to change. And that is this little part that says image. If we open up the data set and press manage content, the thing that we want to disappear is the LinkedIn profile only when the LinkedIn field is empty. So we need to come over here to the LinkedIn field, open up the properties and let's get this field key. We'll go ahead and copy it and we'll close out of the database and where it says image, we'll type in or we'll paste in that field key just like that. And now when I press preview, you'll notice that Ashley does not have one, but if we go over to Brian Chung, he does have one. And that's how you can tell that the code is working. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming up really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.